gosh, I'm nervous with all of this stuff. Like, I feel like I want it for the meeting, and then I need to bring it all back until we're ready to put it in Well, you can bring it, you can bring it all back, and then we'll hang on to it, and when you're yeah. ready. Okay. You know, because that's something that if it disappears, you can't replace yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. You can't replace Not it. Not that I think it would disappear in my house, but yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, and that strap's almost uh, worn through, too. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Let's take an air in one of the bellows. This is old. That's why I wanted it. It's so old. How old do you figure it is? That strap's gone. This is in, I would say, in the 1800s. That's what it is. It's in the 1800s. See the, see the, see the bells? This is where the sound comes out. See? Yes. It's like bells. It's oh, missing yeah. one there. See? That's right. where the sound comes out on this side. Huh. It strikes me as a very, very smooth sound. If I remember right, this is a Honer accordion? This is, uh, Anna. it's made in Germany, it's called a Nova Stat. Let me see. This is where the glasses come in handy. One bellow, two bellow, attached to the middle. Oh. Just like the Wee Rail's accordion. Same oh. idea. Wee Rail, Wee Rail has this piece in the back. What's the decoration on this one? This one here is just, it looks like just leaves. Right. Leaves. Like a weave, yeah. Yeah. So they got the, 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 the plates here. So you have an insignia, it looks like a snake. Almost looks like a medical insignia on it. Oh, you're looking at those. 
yeah, right yeah. Here. I just yeah. Let me see there in that light. <coughs> It's a Cajun. I don't think I've got what it is. It's a Cajun accordion. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Mm -hmm. For the display? Yeah. It's not as big as I would have thought it would, would have been. Now, back then when they made those, the accordions, they didn't make them very big. They made them small. Okay. Smaller. That's in this pretty much close to the same era as the Louis Rails accordion. Where did you get this? Well, I, you know, the funny thing is, Mark brought it. I I got it. I saw it on the internet for sale. Yeah. And I jumped at it, and uh, she just brought it to me. It arrived at her house, so she just brought it to me tonight. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. And there were a pile of people that were trying to get it because it was, they, they were trying to find out who bought it. Right. So I managed to nail it. But I've got other accordions here. Right. Okay, but I when I saw this one, it's made in Germany, yeah. 1880, and it's called a Nova, Novitat Accordion, okay. right? And uh, uh, they're rare. They're rare to get. Very rare to get. So I've got a, I've got a 1901. I've got a 1926. I've got quite a few 1945s. Is this your oldest one then? That, that would be the yeah. oldest one now. So I just received it tonight, today. Wow. Does it play? Yeah, but I have to do I have to do a thumb thing, right. and that belt ripped yeah. off of that side, and I got to do some a uh, little bit of work to the reeds, clean the reeds. But yeah, she'll play. That's she'll play true. for me. Wow. So with you know, like I you know, depending on your people, but if you're going to do something with the reeds, you know, the thing that you should do. If you decide to go with the accordion, I'll give you a wee rail book to go right. with it. Well, I have one in my office. Or did you Yeah, but that's it? yours. Right, but I can close it. Yeah.